You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Check it out. I have three sets for you, but I'm not going to do them all today on video because I would just like to focus on one. But rest assured, I will take care of this mini series as quick as possible. These are the Quick Mix Bakers. I'm not sure if you've ever seen these. Uh, I have the Cookie Mix, the Brownie Mix, and the Cake Mix. Now, there was also a larger set that uh, included, I believe, some of these and additional ones. Now, I have not been able to find the larger set, and, and these are obviously older. Let's see, this says 50% off. Toys R Us, $3.99, uh, ages three and up. Now, you just add water, so these aren't actually going in any kind of uh, oven or anything like that. No heat, no cooking, just add water, real food, and an instant. What do you think about that? Let's see what's on the back. Oh yeah, so there is the quick mix oven, uh, the cookie bake set, the cake decorating bake set, the cake bake set, and mix and bake set. So maybe some of them did require an oven, but I think the oven was just a pretend oven. It does not look like there's any power cord. Look for and collect all these quick mix baker play and bake sets. This is set number 6002. I don't know much more about them. Makes three cakes, refills available. I think, I don't know, something saying cookie to me. Make the cookie. I'm gonna make the cookie. So let's do that one. Uh, and uh, as you see, they each come with a little bowl and a utensil. So this one has uh, a little tray, the cookie cutter. A cookie mix, the bowl, and the spoon. This one had a spatula, a bowl, and then the tray and the cutter. At least I think it's a cutter. And then this one had a fork, a giant fork, the bowl, the tray, and a cutter. I'm guessing they're cutters. I'm not sure exactly why you would want to cut your cake, but maybe you made little cakes. I'm not sure. I don't know if there's anything else in the box. I will find out. Let's come back and get this one out. All right, so I've carefully cut around the packaging so I can preserve it. I'm hoping there's more directions in here. Ooh, directions. Okay. And then this tray. It must just be a presentation tray. Your bowl, your spoon, and then this cutter. I think it's a cookie cutter. What do you think? Dude? Why do they all have cookie cutters for the brownies and the cake? I'm not sure. Okay, what is this? Does this does this come out? Let's see. Oh, they make it rather difficult. I will try to save that. Okay, and then just add water. Let's see if there's something else in this that will aid us in the preparation. Okay, so there's just one packet. Makes up the five cookies. Empty entire contents of packet in a mixing bowl. Gradually add one ounce or two tablespoons water while stirring. When completely blended, choose mold. Spoon mix into mold. Wait until it solidifies. Push gently out of mold. Decorate. Well, what am I decorating with? I've got nothing to decorate with. So I'm guessing that you just scoop it in here while this is down and then take it out. I'm not sure. All right, let's get some water. Let's see and learn about the Quick Mix Baker Cookie Mix. Okay, gathering supplies. Now, I was looking at this and realized there's some issues here. Could be why there's not many of these around. It says makes up the five cakes depending on volume used per mold. Well, we're not making cakes. We are making cookies. And then remember it said empty entire contents of packet in the mixing bowl. I don't think this will even fit in this mixing bowl. We'll give it a shot, but... My guess is I need a bigger bowl. And then, oh, also, now look, it says when completely blended, choose mold. They just say mold, not molds. Spoon mix into mold. Wait until it solidifies. Push gently out of mold. What's gonna happen to everything in the bowl? Is it gonna solidify with it? So I have brought some other cookie dice. They are off to the side. Let us just give the initial sniff. Okay, it's uh, it's not totally unpleasant, but I don't think it's gonna all fit in this bowl, but let's just see. Okay, so, empty contents into bowl. Hmm. I'm not sure if they uh, measured this out prior to, I really don't know. <laughs> let's move it to a much small, a much bigger bowl. Look at all that. 
That makes no sense. There's still a little more in there. Now remember, it said two ounces, uh, one ounce of water, or two tablespoons. Let's just verify. Yes, two tablespoons. Now this little guy right there holds two tablespoons, so we are good to go. Let's get this in there. Let's mix this up. I'm worried about this solidifying. So what I did was I brought in some extra molds, which are off to the side. Now, they show nice chunky chocolate chips, but there isn't a chocolate chip to be seen in here. I wonder what's going on with this set. This is why I test these vintage sets, to kind of give us all an idea what they were like. My guess this is from the 70s, maybe the 80s. There's no dates on anything. Now it said place mold on vinyl sheet. Okay, spoon and mix. Press with plunger while lifting mold up. I'm not getting a, I got no plunger, I don't know. I thought maybe it's supposed to go with the other set, but no, it's an independent set that you can make without the other sets. Let me grab another spoon to aid in the process here. Okay. I had to do that because I had no idea. Let's spoon this in. Can you see that okay? Let me get the camera turned down just a little. Spoon this in. How do you spoon this in? Maybe the upside down? Maybe I got it the wrong way, I don't know. This set has me totally confused. Let's just pack this down in there and see if we can fill him up. Does not look like he's gonna fill up that way. Let's just skip that for a second. Yeah, I just was not not feeling this set for some reason. I had him this way, thinking that it might work better. Let me just, I have a feeling this is gonna get really messy here. <laughs> Let's just shimmy this off the top. Push that down, okay, clean this up. What do you think? The directions are very unclear. I wanna just see if this can flip over. Maybe they want you to fill it this way? I don't know. Let's try it this way. But then it's gonna come out the bottom. Maybe. Let it set. Okay, let's let that one set. I mean, it smells okay. Chew, place mold on sheet, spoon in mix. Press with plunger while lifting mold. Hmm. Okay, let's get another one in here. I'm gonna do, well, let me flip these over. I was thinking it'd be easier to fill. Maybe it is easier to fill this way. I think there's just gonna be stuff all over. There's no graceful way to do this. Next. I don't see anything like taking shape here in regards to changing its consistency. All right, let's set that one aside. Let me do the next four. What are you thinking? Oh, it is starting to change just a little bit in the bowl. It almost feels like it's, uh, here, let me show you. Starting to get a little 
harder here. Still has that, oh, let me mix that up a little better. That mushy kind of feeling, but you know what I'm saying. It does feel like it's slightly changing. Now I'm just pushing it in. Sort of has an oatmeal consistency. I'm almost through it all. I guess this is why I didn't do. Ooh, that spoon is cracked. I never noticed. Right, only doing one set at a time. So I'm kind of like going through the issues with this set and we'll, we'll learn and hopefully the next set we don't have these issues. I'm overfilling this one. I want to get it really pressed in there. I don't even think it's going to come out of these shapes. your legs there buddy okay one more well, that one should be the easiest one now which way would you do this would you go this way or the other way with these little cutters I don't know where I got this set from I remember getting it I just don't remember when and what it was I think it was these were in one an oven I got and they didn't go with that oven so I kept these shapes all right that's good Ooh, it is getting like just stickier it seems like something's changing maybe me I don't know <laughs> okay there's not much left here's what I have left it's all over my counter I just want to touch it I don't know something says touch it let's see yeah what do you think it's got a interesting consistency hmm Let's just squish this cookie out. It'll be the easiest one to push, and I know it will work. My finger is the plunger. Okay, now, is it me, or does it look anything like that? Do you see chips anywhere in these cookies? Those cookies look beautiful. They look like, oh, well, not a Chips Ahoy, but they still have a nice look to them. All right, let's see if we can push this out. Let's get this out of the way. I'll tell you what, while I've got my finger here, let's just push that in. Let's flip it over and let's see if we can get it out. There we go. Okay, well, that worked. Maybe I can make one more of those. I think I may want to just clean up a little. Everything's so sticky, including my fingers. That's better. You know what? I'm just going to use my fingers. I should have done that to begin with. I can press. Yeah, look at that. It is baking, and when you make dough, you're using your fingers. Okay. Maybe I can scrape up one more. One more round cookie. Then I will clean up and then I will try to get these all out of this. Let's do that. Okay, clean up time. I will show you the rest of my countertop so you can kind of see what's going on. It's all a mess. Well, that's my extra water there, by the way. Let me come right back. Okay, I am back. I have not cleaned this tray out, but I did bring in a new tray to put my cookies on. Now I'm not getting any sense of like hardening. They're just kind of 
like a mushy creation. Let's get another one of these bears out. Here, let me move this in, sorry. My camera angles just don't feel right today. There we go. Ooh, that one's stuck. We're gonna keep it anyway. Okay, let's see if we can get another shape out of one of these. Let's turn it this way. Get a little foot in there. Gotta get your foot in there, buddy. I wonder if I take just the back of a spoon and call that the press they were kind of talking about. Okay. Oh, it's working so wonderfully. Oh, that one looks great. We can rebuild him. Oh yeah, look at that. Hmm. I would call that a horse, I think. What do you call that? A nice looking blobule. Okay, blobule. We know this one's gonna work. So the less defined the shape, the better. Maybe just do it that way. Maybe I'll just use my finger as the poker. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Let me get this in here. Not the best way to do it. Ooh, my stomach is growling. Probably because I'm hungry. Hmm. That looks great. Another another interesting looking one. Ooh, this one might work better. It looks simple. I don't know what the shape is. What do you think that is? Let's just get this one out of the shaper. Okay, is that a cat? Maybe it's a cat. This one is some kind of rooster. Do those work all right. Ooh, the rooster worked. Not the prettiest looking rooster there is. Yeah, like I said, my camera's just not on par today. Okay, and this, what is this, some kind of fish? That should pop right out. It does. Okay, so the simpler the shape, the better it pops out. And the last one. Then I will clean up one more time. Get this one out. Oh, those look so yummy. What a mess. And my fingers are just, it's like sticky glue. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Let me come back and we'll wrap it up. Okay, so I need to talk to you because I am still a little confused about this set. Looks nothing like the box. They call it a cake mix when it's in the cookie set. So I'll know more once I get those other sets done. Follow the directions to the T. And this is what I ended up with, so... Let me just, um, what do you think? Should I try a little piece? I'm kind of reluctant, but I always do. So let's just break a little tiny, 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 tiny piece like that. That much. Hmm. It's not unpleasant. Actually, it's better than most things I have tried. So for an older set, I would not recommend you doing that, but. I'm here to learn about the Quick Mix Baker. So what is your overall opinion? Please let me know in the comment section. What did I do? What didn't I do? What should I have done? Because now we can look at it and say, oh, it's obvious you should have done this, but it didn't even fit in the bowl they gave me. So that in itself is quite confusing. So until next time and uh, the next set, thanks for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.